Hey everyone, this is David from Garland Security, and today I'm going to share with you what a relay is and how to use it. So what is a relay? A relay is pretty much just a way to divert power from one unit to another. Or, in other words, we're going to be using our receiver's relay located in the back here uh, to divert power to something like a ringing bell, a siren, or a strobe light, which of course are unpowered units. Um, you could also do it for powered units such as a window door sensor, which of course we will cover in another video. So after opening up our receiver, we'll notice at the top left we have orange tabs. Um, that's pretty much where our relay is going to be. So we'll notice we have a negative, positive, NC, COM, and NO um, contacts that are clearly labeled. Our negative and positive are going to be used for unpowered devices such as sirens, strobe lights, and ringing bells which of course we sell on GuardLineSecurity.com. Next, we'll see our NC, COM, and NO. Those are going to be used for power devices, which we will be covering in another video. For negative and positive, we're going to want to put the black wire into negative and red wire into positive. If we flip this receiver over, we'll notice that we have our dip switches. So now that we know what devices work with our relay, how about we talk about our dip switches. Tip switches 1 and 2 are going to be used for pause mode, which you can find on page 17 of your manual. We're more concerned about dip switches 3 to 12, because those will actually work with the relay. Uh, so dip switch 3 and 4, those are going to be used to control how long your relay is powering your external device. Um, so fly three to the right and flipping switch number 4 to the right, you'll have it set to 1 second by flipping switches uh, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are going to be used for zones one through four um, for unpowered devices. So just flip each switch you want it to activate on zone whenever your sensor is activated. Uh, tip switches nine to 12 are gonna be used again for zones one through four for un power devices whenever a sensor is activated. All right, so let's connect our strobe light here to our receiver's relay. Now we're gonna, of course, do that by connecting our black wire or negative wire to our negative output and our red wire or positive wire to our positive output. To do so, we're going to push down this orange tab and feed in the wire. Once it's all the way in, let go of the orange tab and then do the same thing for the positive wire. Push down the orange tab, feed in the wire, and then release. And then just give it a light tug, make sure it's all the way in there. It shouldn't come out if done appropriately. Afterwards, we're going to flip over our receiver, turn on our receiver, activate our sensor, and you'll notice that our siren is, or our strobe light's gone on. That's how you connect a strobe light to your receiver's relay. Um, as always, feel free to comment below, uh, leave us a message, and we'll happily answer. Uh, give us a like on our Facebook channel, our YouTube channel, or e call us at 888-519-0413, or shoot us a message at support at guardlightsecurity.com. We're always happy to help to answer with any of your questions or concerns you may have. So comment, leave us a message, call us.